and here i come hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel this is dr arindam and you are watching the teaching doc now i always say good things about stock photography i always motivate you guys about stock photography but you know there cannot be 100% good about anything there has to be some bad right so today i'm going to tell you few things why stock photography may not be that good for you so let's start now let me give a brief disclaimer you may hear some loud thuds or noise okay during this video that's because construction work is going on in the same building right and i don't have any control over the labor so just focus on what i am saying i hope there will be no problem so what are the reasons why stock photography may not be good for you number one reason it's not good for you if you are only doing it for money okay there are people who expects to earn a lot from stock photography so if you are expecting something if you are expecting something like this that you will become very rich very soon then believe me this stock photography is not at all for you here we earn in few cents right and over few months you may earn few dollar to start with so if you are expecting this a lot of money in a very short time it's 100% true stock photography is not for you at all only if you have got the patience to earn something in a long term as a passive income then only you can start stock photography otherwise you should never start stock photography the next reason why stock photography may not be good for you is if you expect a lot of sales to start with it doesn't work that way you need to build your portfolio you need to increase the number of quality content in your portfolio then only you will get sales personally i got my first sale after 359 photos yes i accept that's a very bad number to start with i'm a bad photographer it doesn't matter i kept myself motivated and i kept uploading irrespective of any sales so if you are expecting something magical if you are expecting high sales to start with it's not for you it's stock photography only works when you are regular and you upload a lot of content without thinking about sales so remember don't expect a lot of sales and if you are expecting a lot of sales don't start stock photography the next reason why it stock photography may not work for you is if you upload once and then you wait for the result most of the beginners face this difficulty and land up in this problem they think first of all they have got no trust for these agencies these are completely new and they may not be seeing my channel right or any other content creator who are making stock videos about stock photography right so what they do they upload 5 to 10 photos images two videos and then they keep on waiting months after months and ultimately at the end they conclude that this doesn't work for me yes definitely it won't work it doesn't work that way as i told you in the earlier point you need to build up your portfolio you need to keep uploading irrespective of sales so if you are that kind of person who will invest a few and will expect a lot of return it will never happen in any business and this is a serious online business about stock photography you need to invest more in order to return more get more returns right so please 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 if you are thinking about this strategy please avoid stock photography it is not good for you you need to upload more and more and more and then only you can hope to get some sales another reason why stock photography may not be good for you is if you are not ready to try new things you may get some sales from your photos right but very soon unless you generate new content unless you can do two things you can upload fresh type of images using the same concept or you need to diversify your portfolio more if you don't do that if you keep on uploading same type of things your sales will decrease right and then you think stock photography is not working for me yes stock photography won't work for you if you work this way always be ready to try new things so if you are not ready to try new things if you are being lazy then stock photography is definitely not for you another reason why stock photography may not be good for you if you start stock photography if you make an account and you join 100 facebook groups and then you keep seeing the awesome posts screenshots of other people who are uploading their huge sales huge numbers and you get demoralized 
if you get demoralized as a beginner then stock photography is definitely not for you you need to believe in yourself you need to believe that if you keep up your hard work you will definitely get sales in future definitely there are people who are posting the screenshots who are getting thousand sales per month but they are doing it professionally they are doing it since years we as a beginner as a mediocre as a starter individual we are not gonna get that much sales ever okay but definitely always compare your own improvement over few months if you keep track of your own sales you can compare yourself from past and from present and then expect some good return in the future so never get demoralized by seeing other people posts and always im try to improve yourself and lastly i would like to conclude by saying if you don't have any original creative idea then stock photography is definitely not for you either be it photography or be it graphic designing there are beginners who don't have any original idea they simply ask in my comment or they simply download any free graphic or free photos or free stuff from website like pixel unsplash canva etc and they simply try to alter that using photoshop or anything and they reupload they convert photos into sketches and then reupload this doesn't work my friend and your account will be banned very soon if you cannot think creatively this art is not for you remember art is for creative person only okay you can either work very hard or you can learn some new things if you are motivated enough to learn some new skills to create original idea then only the stock photography or micro stock graphic designing is for you if you are a copy artist then believe me stock photography is not for you at all so i think as a beginner you should be cautious about these points and you should avoid these practices if you are watching this video till now please type original in the comment section i will know that you have watched this video till now please share this video with your friends photographers and cousins who love stock photography so that we can earn together passively from our passion feel free to join my youtube channel feel free to join the facebook group where we can discuss a lot more in person i thank you all for your patient hearing and thanks for watching this video and i will see you soon in the next one till then bye and take care